Hi, this is Kerry with FreeAudacityTutorials.com and in this particular tutorial I am going to be showing you uh, a combination of things from some of the beginner tutorials and the intermediate and advanced and what I'm going to be doing is putting together an intro for my podcast that I've been needing to do for quite some time and it's going to consist of four parts. First is going to be the opening and then that will be followed by a phone number that two of my children do and then after that will come some music which is going to continue for quite some time and over that music is going to be my daughter Maddie giving some more introductory uh, comments and that will happen after a fade in the music and then her comments and then there will be a fade up and then a gradual fade out into the talking part of the conversation so that's what we're going to be doing in this particular episode okay here's audacity first thing I'm going to do is go to file and open and I'm going to open my first piece, which is the one here called My Intro. And what it's going to be is this is an Audacity file that I've already recorded. First thing I'm going to do is change the name of the track so that I don't get this confused. So I'm going to call it My Intro. And there I have it. Next, I'm going to go get another track. Okay, and this one is the phone number, if you remember what we looked at. So here it is, phone going to open that and what it's going to do you see it opened another audacity window so what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click on the track section over here on the left I'm going to go to edit and copy then I'm going to close that entire window now I make sure my selector tool here is on I'm going to click down below the track and then edit and paste and you'll see it pasted that phone number right in here below now I'm going to change the name of it once again so I don't lose track of my tracks and it's nice that it's in there but it's not in the right position so I'm going to use my time shift tool and I'm going to move that down to where I want it to be okay so I'm going to go to file and open again and next is the music now it's a uh, MIDI and cut I know the name of it now you notice this is an mp3 so it's just going to import it straight into a new window so same as before I'm going to click over here I'm going to go to edit, copy, and I'm going to close this window. No, I don't want to save the changes. All right, make sure my selector tool is on. Click down here, edit and paste. And it puts the whole song in there. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, zoom out just a little bit so I can see a little better. Go to my time shift tool and move this down to where I want it to be. And then, once again, I'm going to choose my selector and listen to it to make sure it's about like I want it. Four. Four. Okay, that feels good. Now, the levels are not right and all that. We're going to change that in just a moment. So, once again, since, since my window is filling up here, I am going to minimize this track. And I'm going to minimize this track because this is the one I'm, I'm putting things in reference to right now. And also, if you notice, this one is in stereo. When the rest are in mono, the rest are in mono because my podcast I record in mono. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the arrow here. I'm going to go down split stereo to mono. And I'm going to click out of this last one. I'm just going to get rid of it. And so now I've got a mono track for the music. All right, so now to get my final track that I'm mixing, I'm going to go to file, open. And this one I believe is called new Maddie intro. Yeah, right there. So I'm going to open it again. It's opened a new window. So I'm going to click on it with my left click. I'm going to edit copy. I'm going to close out the window and then get my make sure I've got my selector tool on. Click below, edit, and paste. And it's going to put that right in there. Now I'm going to take my time shift tool, move this down to about where I think it, it's going to start. Oh, and I did not change, uh, change my name, which I'm going to do so that I don't lose track of my tracks. All right, and so now I'm going to use my selection tool. I'm going to play somewhere here in the music and see if Maddie's voice is coming in related to the music where I want it to come in. Hi, welcome to the Christian Film. Right, it's just about right, but my, my levels are off. I'm going to bump her back just a little bit. My levels are off because uh, her voice and the music track are basically the same volume. So, go back to the envelope tool, which we did in a previous tutorial, and that's right here. Click on that envelope tool, you see the blue line show up. So I'm going to click on this blue line of the music track twice. 
Now this first one shows where my volume change begins. The second one shows where my volume change ends. Okay, so I'm making my volumes lower. And I'm also going to drag this further left so that the, the diminishing volume starts sooner. Okay, so here I've clicked on my selection tool. I'm going to go backward just a little bit to click over here and listen four, to how it sounds. Four. Hi, welcome to the Christian Home. Okay, and I feel like she's a little too far to the right, so I'm going to bring her up a little more. Instead of listening to all that, I'm just going to listen to a bit. Hi, welcome to the Christian Home and Family Podcast. Okay, that's great. Now, at the end of her voice, I want it to go back up in terms of volume, the music, to go back up. So, envelope tool again. I'm going to do the same thing, make two points, a beginning point and an ending point. The ending point will be all the way back to the full volume. This point needs to be where uh, the volume is consistent. Now, if you notice, see how these bars kind of stagger right here a little bit. I, I want to make sure they're not staggering. I want them straight as they can be, about like that. So now I'm going to click on this. I'm going to listen to the last part of what she has to say and hear how the music transitions back up. At www christianhomeandfamily.com Thanks for listening. Okay, that's all right, except I think the, the increase in volume is too gradual. So I'm going to try it again. At www.christianhomeandfamily.com Thanks for listening. Okay, that's great. And then at the end of this, or not at the end, but but after a few seconds, the volume is going to decrease again where I normally would talk over uh, the music to introduce the podcast episode. So I'm going to do my time shift tool again. Same thing, two points, a beginning point and an ending point. My beginning point's full volume. My ending point is going to be back down to the same volume that it was before. Okay, and then right here is where I'll talk over it. So let's listen to that. At www christianhomeandfamily.com Thanks for listening. And then right in here is where I would begin talking over the track to introduce the podcast episode. Now what I normally do is this music fades all the way out and then I just continue the podcast. So I'm going to have to decide where I'm going to do that. And here I'm going to introduce another tool that I, I don't think I've previously shown you up to this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I am going to take my selector tool and I'm going to click on this music track somewhere down here probably right about there looks about the right space nah, probably not probably over here and I'm going to go to edit I'm going to go to clip boundaries and I'm going to split and what that does is it splits this track into two pieces now if you were to click here and play you would never hear the split listen to it You'll never hear the split, but it is split. And so what that means is that if I double click over here, it selects the whole right side of that track. I hit my delete key and it is gone. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is about halfway here on this track, I'm going to highlight all that remains of it. I'm going to go to effect and fade out. And you'll see the, the waveform drops to nothing. And that is part one of this particular uh, tutorial. In part two, I'm going to show you the kinds of effects I would put on this to make it uh, how I want it to be.